I got into renewable energy when I was about 20. Uh, back then I was an agriculture journalist and I would travel all over the countryside in the U.S. interviewing farmers about different aspects of, of agriculture, farming. And I ran across one guy who had just put up uh, eight one megawatt wind turbines on his property. And this was a, a fairly dicey time during uh, the agricultural economy in the U.S. and a lot of people were losing their farms. But for him, this was a huge opportunity because uh, Florida and Power and Light, who had basically rented the wind rights to his farm, the income that he got from that allowed him to pay off the debt on the farm, send his kids to college, and have a good retirement. And that was the first time I really saw the opportunities that renewable energy could have in agriculture. My job as Secretary General of Pangea is basically to promote sustainable bioenergy in Africa. That is everything from developing our team, to guiding our team, to setting policy within the organization, and, and doing a lot of networking, everything from on national and local basis all the way up to the UN level. The most exciting part of my job is getting, is getting to go to Africa and see communities where there's been real impacts from sustainable bioenergy production. We're working on everything from clean cooking, which is improving health for women and children and reducing uh, negative impacts on, de on deforestation. Uh, we're also getting to see uh, clean, clean industries developing by processing waste from livestock and agriculture and into biogas. We're getting to see you know, increased food security and increased um, opportunities for, for local investment as projects get implemented and then there are more support industries and there's new jobs and, and people are really feeling like it's, it's belonging to them. I truly believe that renewable energy is the key to everything else. Uh, when we're looking at things like the Millennium Development Goals, energy is often considered the missing Millennium Development Goal because without energy we can't do anything else. And what we're finding is that for the world to be sustainable, for us to be able to move forward and ensure that we're going to have a good environment for our kids, that there's going to be jobs for our kids, that we really need to be putting that investment and that focus into renewables. I think this is especially an opportunity for women because those kinds of more technical jobs like, like uh, engineering and mathematics and, and more technical parts have kind of been a little bit maybe less attractive for women or maybe a little bit scary and they were a bit worried. But what I'm finding is that when I send out, C I send out calls for, for CVs, when we have a job opening, that we get almost all women applying. So this for me also is a way to kind of introduce more gender balance into more uh, engineering and technical industries.